Hi, I'm Sarah Cowgill, sitting in for Lisa K. Donner. And joining me today are Andrew Moran, Jeff Charles, Graham Noble, and Dave Patterson. This is the Conservative Five, Liberty Nation's online TV news program. What happened on November 8th? No red wave, no blue wave. Folks feared election results would be nearly as stagnant as a mosquito pond. But when Republicans secured the House, well, it got interesting in a matter of minutes. Holy moly, House leadership dropped the A-bomb on the Biden administration in a public display with whiteboards, charts, and paperwork. Graham, what are House Republicans accusing the Biden family of? What are they accusing the Biden presidency of and his administration? Well, Sarah, there, uh, there's kind of a, a two-pronged approach going on here, and it's being led by Representative uh, James Comer and Representative Jim Jordan, uh, who are respectively going to be taking over the House Oversight and Reform Committee and the House Judiciary Committee. Um, now, what these uh, what these two committees are going to be looking at the the first one, the Re- the Oversight and Reform Committee, is going to be focusing on whether or not, uh, and and they say they are going to present evidence that shows uh, that Joe Biden was aware of his son Hunter's, uh, let's call them shady, uh, certainly appear shady to many people, business dealings abroad. Um, that he was aware and to a certain extent involved in those dealings. That is the claim uh, coming from uh, Mr. Comer. Uh, On the other side, you've got the Judiciary Committee, uh, Jim Jordan, and he is going to be looking at uh, a number of things related to the administration in a broader sense. And that is that whether or not the administration colluded with uh, big tech And also, to a certain extent, you know, social media companies, but also, uh, to a certain extent, more traditional media, was there collusion to suppress certain stories uh, that the uh, administration did not want out there in the public, uh, in the public eye and the public ear, uh, specifically the Hunter Biden laptop story, of course. So, I mean, did, did this just come out of nowhere, Jeff? I mean, really? I mean, just days after, you know, an election is over and they say, well, we've got evidence and we've got this and that. So has that been going on for a while or what's going on here? You know, to those who don't do this for a living and don't pay attention as much as we do, it it probably came out of nowhere. But they've been gearing up for this for for a while over the past year and a half or so when they expected to take back the House. They've already they've already been asking the uh, DOJ, FBI and other agencies to start preserving documents because they knew that once they had power, they were going to start uh, launching these investigations. You know, and I'm seeing some criticism about this coming from the left and the right, saying, oh, well, they should be focused on the economy, stuff like that. And And I understand that. At the same time, I would imagine that they could focus on both at the same time. And plus, they don't have the Senate. They don't have the White House. Republicans aren't really in a very favorable position to do things le- legislatively, which is why they're they're focusing on the investigations. I mean, if there is some some fire here where, the, where there's smoke, the, the American people deserve to know. And after years and years of politically motivated Democratic investigations and impeachment attempts and Russia collusion hoaxes, Democrats have no room to complain about this. So uh, it, this is just this will this is just the starting point. This is this this is going to be the first of of many investigations that they're going to do. So it'll be very interesting to see what they come up with. Uh, just following on from what Jeff said, there we should remember that when the when the Democrats were investigating ad nauseum. Uh, every time Donald Trump uh, sneezed or, or you know, looked at Nancy Pelosi sideways, um, <laughs> we uh, we were told because, of course, then Republicans would uh, criticize the Democrats for spending all this time investigating rather than doing what's best for the country. And the Democrats' answer was always, "Well, you know, we can walk and chew gum at the same time. You know, we can legislate and we can investigate at the same time." So. Um, why can't that continue to be the case going forward? 
Yes, Since you're on the subject of that, that uh, I have a question for Jeff. Actually, you know, you, you really, you, you really dive into the polling numbers over the last year or two. What have the polling data shown? I mean, does it show that the American people support hearings over more, you know, you know bread and butter issues of the economy, inflation, other on you know Democrat or Republican? What do you see on those numbers? Yeah, the polling showed that when Americans went to the grocery store and paying exorbitant prices, they weren't thinking about January 6th. They weren't thinking about Democratic investigations into the origins of January 6th. Um, now, I do still think that may have had an impact on the outcomes, but not as much as other issues. So I don't I I. I know that the, the media is going to try to use these investigations against the Republicans because they have to try to make it backfire, so to speak. But it, it's all going to depend on what Republicans come up with. I mean, if they, if they if it's a huge dud and they don't really find anything, that's going to turn public opinion against them. But if they start finding things that the American people need to know, then I don't think it's going to backfire on them at all. Well, I think they haven't they just uh, just flat out said we have evidence. And so we have enough to open, you know, like it's almost like a grand jury situation where we think we have enough to proceed with a with an arrest and a, you know, a trial. Um, I, that's that's my takeaway. And and I'm not as up as on this as his grandma's been since he's been uh, awake through the whole process. Um, but, you know, Dave, I have a question for you. I mean, you've been around the horn almost, you know, in the political world as long as I have. Have you ever seen anything like this? Back and forth, back and forth investigations like this? No, not to this extent. I think this is uh, this is something new, and, and it really uh, stems from the uh, polarity that you find not only in Congress but also uh, in, in the American people. I mean, people are diametrically opposed on just about everything, and you'll see this uh, play out. I think. It's going to be uh, it is going to be fascinating to see how the uh, the Republicans handle this. Well, I'm interested in how this. actually China responds because one of the <laughs> issues that uh, the the Republicans are investigating is, is CFC Energy, China Energy. Now, this is supposedly independent of the government, but as anybody knows, if you are making up more than five hundred million dollars, you have a connection to the Chinese government. But this was a case that actually Senator Chuck Grassley looked into, and and the Senate committee looked into, and they found that you know uh, the company paid nearly five. $5 million to Hunter Biden and his uncle James and included everything from re legal retainers. Uh, somehow Biden uh, offered legal advice and then uh, consulting fees. And they had this uh, opulent office and it said that uh, Hunter Biden wanted uh, the Biden Foundation named on it. And actually one of the people who had extra keys to the office, according to the committee report, was uh, President Joe Biden. So that's, that's that should be one of the issues that I, I'm really uh, looking forward to monitor during, over the next few months. I think yeah, I mean, they have even like allegations of human trafficking and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm like, y'all yeah, yeah. better have the goods. If <laughs> Woo, let's throw it all, all in there. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that what will probably come to uh, to the forefront in terms of really serious allegations is when we find uh, if we find that uh, all of the, of the and I'll use the favorite uh, Democrat uh, term when we find the collusion that has ex been extant for some number of years uh, between the Biden family and, and China, and the results of which have been the uh, the increase in China's ability to be intrusive into the economy and the building of their military, which puts our national security at risk. I think those are the things that the American people will start to think of uh, in terms of uh, the Biden crime family. If I make one, if I may make one prediction, I guarantee you somebody on MSNBC or the Democratic Party is going to call these committee investigations a threat to democracy. That's my prediction. <laughs> I think I a, witch, a witch hunt, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, well, I think that's a crystal ball to see that. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we'll, guys. We, <laughs> won't that be a badge of honor, though, really? <laughs> one question has finally been answered, and that is Republicans aren't going to sit back and take it anymore. So, uh, America, brace yourselves. We're heading for more turmoil and turbulence, steering into a presidential cycle. This could be fun. That's it for our Conservative Five panel today. Check out our other C5 shows and segments on your favorite video platform. YouTube, Vimeo, Rumble, we're on them all. As well, Liberty Nation has its own Roku channel where you can see all of our TV productions. Thanks for tuning in and remember to surf on over to LibertyNation.com. Special thanks to our fantastic editor and post coordinator, Frank DiOrio. 
I'm Sarah Cowgill, filling in for Lisa K. Donner. Thanks for joining us today. This has been a production of LibertyNation.com, where truth is making a comeback. Thank you.